This is a general collective message, so only take what applies and let the rest fly. Most importantly, be sure to watch responsibly and always vibe with your tribe. Aloha everybody, this is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Fa'afitai telelava for being here today. Let's see what messages spirit has for you. You are now entering the divine headquarters. What is up my chosen ones fam, my fam, my people, my star seeds, my light workers, my light warriors, my empaths, earth angel spirit guides, my peaceful members of the Galactic Federation and anybody who's in alignment with spreading love, light and clarity. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the reading. Okay, let me throw my garbage away here. I let it. I let it get started in the last video, but I'm not gonna let it. It's, it's over with. You feel me? It's over with. So, let's get into the message here. Let's go ahead and clear the energy out here. Ushering in love, light, peace, and prosperity for the collective. Somebody around y'all being fake and phony, and y'all see it clear as day on a cctv y'all see them being fake and phony to you i'm hearing they smile in your face all the time they want to take your place them backstab yeah they smiling in your face you see it they fake and phony what are you hiding anytime i see somebody being fake and phony like it don't necessarily like if somebody being fake and phony it doesn't always equate to somebody being malicious sometimes you know it's good intentions where they just it's, it's hiding it from you but I don't think there's one I'm picking up here. You feel me? <laughs> uh, somebody being fake and you know that they're being fake. You've seen it. And you know it. And it's like they don't realize that you see it and you know it. You're like, look at this fake mother. Like, you just... You just steady. I see. I, I, I see somebody with. Oh, uh, you know, going to movies. They be talking to somebody. A person be talking to them, and then they be having like the inner dialogue, and it be like a voiceover. I see a voiceover in a dialogue like this. Mofo, think I'm stupid. You really think I'm dumb? You think I don't know that you lying right now? Yo, dumb. Yeah, I see somebody like having this dialogue with this person, like with this uh, fake persona. Okay with this fake and you and i see you guys declining this person because we got missed opportunity here something was decline either y'all walked away got split y'all up or whatever but i feel like y'all walked away from this person gave this person the boot stop talking to this person somebody feels slighted also too because we have revenge energy here is that like somebody felt like you did them something because you saw that they were being fake my thing is whether you have good intentions or bad intentions, if somebody is very, very intuitive, being fake is the last thing you want to do. Okay? Don't do that. Don't come to somebody that's very, very intuitive and have ulterior motives or hide your true feelings or whatever. Because that energy that's being picked up is showing that you fake. And I don't, that, I don't think there's the right impression that you want to make. Especially if you have good intentions, that's not the right impression that you want to be making. You feel me? And now we got somebody, like, some missed opportunity. Somebody want revenge. Let's get into this revenge. Like, what? What? The, what? 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 Let me get a couple more cards from this deck right here. What? Revenge for what? Revenge for what? Boundaries, baggage. This person is is dealing with unprocessed baggage. They ain't got nothing to do with you. They feel some kind of way. So they, because you did not allow this person to get close to you because you you immediately saw that they were fake and phony. You didn't allow them to get close to you. They took it the wrong way and and felt slighted and then it reminded them of something that they dealt with in the past that ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah. So this person is like pushing energy towards you uh, misdirecting anger okay we got misdirecting anger yeah and now they obsess obsessed about it and but the thing about it is that this is weird it ain't got nothing to do with you nothing to do with you y'all trusting y'all intuition kudos to you guys keep trusting that intuition y'all trusting your intuition and and and, and not allowing yourself to get connected to people who come with this type of energy here. 
divorce papers. Yeah, y'all cut this person off. Opposites attract. And then we have focus on appearance. I feel like you wanted to give this person, like you guys are maybe from different cultures, different um, ethnicities, different skin colors, whatever the hell it is. Um, and this person may have been focused on uh, their appearance to how they showed up to you versus on focusing on being their true self. See, that's, that's, that's something that's very, very tricky that we all have to watch out for. Okay. Cause sometimes we thinking that we making a good impression and then we're not really truly being our, 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 our authentic self. And then it comes out to the other person to where we look like we being fake. Just like what happened with this individual here. Yeah. You can try to play a certain kind of role, but if somebody's hip to the game, if somebody's intuitive, they are gonna know you're being fake, and that's not a good look. Okay, that's never a good look, cause I I feel like you guys overlook certain things. You like, you know, we could work on this. We could, you know, what I'm saying like, I know we may be from different backgrounds. Um, that's confirmation right there. We're not gonna let any any of that distract us, cause we're from different backgrounds. Cause who gives a damn? See, I. I really don't understand why people be like so hooked up on skin color, facial features, all of this stuff. Like as long as you attracted to that person, that's all that matters. And uh, what culture you come from, what language you speak, who cares? Do you do you you like that person? You know what I mean? Like, are you interested in that person? That's the only thing that should matter. <laughs> Half of us wouldn't even been here, be here today if it wasn't from uh, um ethnicities mixing together you feel me <laughs> come on now yeah y'all gave somebody they walking papers y'all like mm -mm. It, 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 uh -uh. i'm not I, I can't do it i feel like yeah i feel like this person something with this fake image may have triggered even may have triggered uh a past situation within you as well They may have triggered you to, they may have reminded you of somebody and you were like, hmm, it's something wrong with this, with this, with this person. It's something wrong with this individual. I can't, no, nah, I can't do this. That's what I'm getting here. I, I can't do this. They remind me of X, Y, Z. Remind me of this person, that person, this thing. Mm -mm. Can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, you knew it was a bad. You thought it was a. You felt it was a bad match. You felt like, nah. Um, if I bring this person into my life, uh, something bad might happen, or it might go down a bad way, or, or I might end up regretting it. And y'all didn't want to end up regretting anything. You're just like, mm mm. We're not gonna be able to do that. Yeah, all of that phoniness, right? We got asking for too much on the bottom of the deck. Somebody may have been asking you for too much by trying to, by wanting you to, to invest in something that really wasn't like somebody being honest with you and somebody being real with you. Yeah. Like who wants to be with somebody who's not being honest and not being real with them? What else we got? Ooh, <sighs> yo, bro. Some of y'all, this person was already taken, already dealing with somebody. Y'all, preoccupied, preoccupied, if I can say the word right, preoccupied, uh, tied up in another situation. Um, for some people, it could have been that they were more so focused on their jobs, whatever else, but uh, taken. In this sense right here, strongly for a lot of people, this person was invested somewhere else. Okay, that's the energy you were picking up on. And that's what you saw that this person was not revealing to you. They were not revealing to you the truth and you ain't had no other choice, but you picked up that vibe. It, it, let me say something. When you, when you read energies and I feel like a lot of y'all are very, very good at reading energies. When you read this energy from this person, you were like, uh, it was giving you a stranger danger type of vibe, like a alarm and eh, eh, eh. exit the building. Find the nearest exit and leave, you know, run, head for the hills. You know what I mean? And you just dropped out. You feel me? 
You dropped out. You withdrew your energy. Yeah. You let it go. For some of you guys, you may have uh, slept with this person. This person may have been very, very good in bed. You feel me? May have gave you some very, very good times. You know what I'm saying? Some good uh, smicks and smicks at times. You feel me? But that wasn't enough. There's confirmation. That chemistry, that sensual chemistry. Some of you guys, you had a lot of passionate chemistry between you guys. Even if you did not sleep with each other, there was a lot of, you looked at this person, like there's just a lot of good bad chemistry between us. You feel me? I know that it's, it's going to be a good experience and whatnot. But you guys are like, mm, 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 mm. That ain't enough to keep me holding on. <laughs> Set me free, why don't you, babe? Get out my life, why don't you, babe? Cause you don't really love me. You just keep me hanging on. Yes, yeah, like you know this person didn't love you. And you accepted the truth. Look at this. You accepted the truth. Kudos to y'all. Yes. Keep up the awesome work. RTG wants you to train out the building, baby. Comment that down below if you feel in my flow. Hi, yes. Y'all standing up for yourself. Accepting the truth. Taking the rose colored glasses off and like, yo, I'm not only seeing rose color. I'm seeing all the colors. I'm seeing it for what it is. And I'm accepting it for what it is. Exactly for what it is. I'm accepting the truth. And I'm going on about my way. And you got somebody here who's, and yeah, instead of you being jealous, some of y'all y'all may have been jealous when you found out that this person was talking to somebody else, or you got that download, or you got, you picked up that intuition that they was with somebody else, or you saw it. I don't know. Okay? And you removed yourself from the situation because you ain't got time. Like, you're not, you're not um, being distracted by the illusions. Okay? That this person was trying to present to you that they were free that they were for you you got somebody who's with somebody else but they're obsessed over you and mad and wanting to get some sort of revenge because you're not playing them stupid reindeer games with them if you take and you take it everybody's not into that everybody's not into sleeping with somebody else man somebody else woman everybody's not into that you feel me if you take and you take it yeah, and y'all y'all saw exactly what this person was bringing to the table. Y'all saw exactly what they were bringing to the table. And like, you know what? I don't want none of what you're putting down. I don't want none of it. What else we got? I don't want none of it. And I feel like it, it's either taught this person a valuable lesson, okay? Um, or it's teaching them a valuable lesson, how to come correct with people, Okay? This may be somebody who even who learns they either changing their ways now, okay, or forced to change their ways. Don't step to somebody. You know, if you if you're with somebody else, let people know. Some people might be down with it, you feel me? Some people is not down with it. But this is somebody who may come back and may say, I've changed my ways, and they very well may have changed their ways and learn. But it's like, has the damage already been done? You know what I'm saying? This person, whoever this person is, they will regret it. Okay? They will regret it. And look what we got right here. They will regret it. But that regret and this person or wherever you are on the timeline, they're going to change their ways. They're going to know, oh, wow, well, well, damn, I messed up. Let me come correct. But for a lot of y'all, <laughs> look at this. It's the block for me. Like, y'all got them Blocked. Blocked. And for a lot of them, it's way too late. Like, yeah, you learned your lesson too late. Well, maybe we cross paths for you to learn this lesson. And now you learn the lesson. Now you can move forward and don't do that to nobody else. You feel me? Don't try to play, be upfront about it. You feel me? So people can make choices and decisions on their own. Yeah. Blocked. And then focus on new. You're focusing on new love. Y'all may this person may have been trying to use y'all as a rebound, whether why they were still uh, not fully healed from another person. Cause we got we got baggage here, yeah, not fully healed, and y'all felt that energy like they had one foot in and one foot out, and you guys were not having it, okay? And now you guys are focusing on new, 
love. You're focusing on new people, not this person, because you know, well, I'm hearing y'all learning to trust your intuition. You are learning to trust the red flags. Um, if you feel some energy, you picking it up and it's triggering you in some sort of weird kind of way, you, you're you looking at it instead of saying, well, oh my God, I'm being immature or I'm just exaggerating or I'm letting my imagination get the best of me. You're not looking at that. You are looking at the fact that why am I feeling this way about this person when they've done nothing to me, especially if I'm, I'm not dealing with no issues like that. So why am I picking up on this, this vibe? And some of you guys, it's a, it's, it was a taken vibe that you picked up and this vibe could have also triggered, okay, past situations that you might've been in. Okay. I'm getting, it might've triggered, it might've triggered some past situations that you were in to where somebody cheated on you, somebody betrayed you, it brought them same feelings up. So be careful when you come across new individuals, okay? If you ever come across a, a new person, okay, who you've never dated or whatever, and you start dating this person, and then all of a sudden you may pick up, you know what I'm saying? You're not like the kind of person who's like, everybody is a cheater, everybody goes on. You're not like that, but you pick up on a weird vibe and this person is doing weird things too. Trust that information, trust that into your intuition when you get that because i'm hearing that you guys are right on the money and i feel like this person did not expect you they might have done this to other people too right but they didn't expect you to catch on so fast without them even revealing something to you okay and i feel like god put you across this person's path for the teach the teach they ask a lesson to teach them to come correct when you come to people because sometimes you're not going to get a second chance to make a first impression. You know what I'm saying? That first impression is everything. You know what I mean? Everybody's not going to give you uh, uh, a second chance when they know that you're with the foolishness. Okay? And now here y'all go. New love rolling in. As soon as y'all stepped away from this person or as soon as you step away and phase this person out of your life, new love is coming in. Because you... You, 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 you tell you showing the universe that you are not here to play games with nobody. You're not here to let anybody play games with you and you are, you're still open for love. And that is what you are attracting into your life. So don't give up and don't let situations like this make you give up because that new love that you seek is coming for you. Okay. So that is a message that I got for you guys here today. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like to see more. Much love and light to everybody out there. Thanks for being here. Hopefully this got to whoever needs to get to. Uh, thank you. Surround yourself with love, y'all. Love yourself. Soft life initiated. I'll take care. Ciao. Mm -hmm.